Are you planning a trip to Mexico City in search of where to find amazing tacos? My name is Julia Gonzalez and I welcome you to my channel. This week I explore some great places for you to enjoy true, authentic Mexico City tacos. We're here at El Tizonzito. El Tizonzito has over 10 locations throughout Mexico City and claim to be the creators of the El Pastor tacos, serving them up since 1966. I'm not here to figure out if their claim is true. I'm just here to have my first ever El Pastor taco. So you can see the guy back here. This technique comes from the Middle East where they stack all the meat and then they shave it. So that's where the name El Pastor for that type of taco. They have a pineapple on the top and then two onions at the bottom. I love tacos, so I'm really excited for this. Really excited. Mm. Oh my god. So good. The salsa is spicy, but it's sweet because of the pineapple. So you get this sweet and savory taco. <laughs> Another fun fact you might not know about this place is they actually hold the Guinness record for the most tacos ever served. And I believe it, because they're delicious. This is the Alambre Gampanjano. It's filled with steak, pork, chorizo, the maguey flour, onions, peppers, and lots of cheese. Oh. Has a lot of flavor. It's spicy, but it's so like it has so much flavor throughout all the meats. It's so good. To give you an idea of what our bill was at El Ticanzito, we had three cervezas, one water, the Alambre Campechano, we had four El Pastor tacos, and our total was $27. We're at El Khalifa for some more tacos because now I am just simply obsessed with Mexican tacos. All the tacos. I want all the tacos. El Khalifa also has several locations around Mexico City, but we're popping into the Condesa neighborhood location. El Khalifa is considered one of Mexico City's most popular taco joints. It's also considered one of the most expensive because of the prime quality ingredients that they use. Okay, so here's our El Pastor. Mm. Put a little bit of lime juice on that. It has the sweetness of the pineapple. And then, you know, the meat's just so tender and delicious. So now I'm going to try the Taco de Castillo, which is a beef rib taco. <laughs> he wants our tacos too. He knows that they're good. <laughs> I'm adding a little bit of salsa, obviously. Okay, sorry, for the ribeye now. Mm. That meat is so delicious, flavorful. Mm. So delicious. Alright, here's some quesadillas. I'm gonna try the cheese quesadilla. So for our bill here at El Khalifa, we had four cervezas, four tacos de castillos, two chaletas, four El Pastor tacos, oh, we had a water, and four quesadillas for a total of $46. We're 
here at Paramo have some lunch, but be careful. You can easily miss it because uh, it's just an open door. Hardly a sign. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what to expect with the door and the stairs and no sign. But once we got up here, this place is beautiful. So one thing I learned real quick coming to Mexico is the margaritas are cheaper than the wine. So margaritas from here on out. We're starting off with the tostada. It's a toasted tortilla. It has pork, onions, lettuce, potato, and radish. All right, let's give it a try. It's really good. It's spicy. Oh, that, that sauce gives it real hot tang. Ooh. This was the most gorgeous and delicious tostada I've ever had. This is the suadero taco. The meat usually comes from the stomach region of the cow, and it's considered the authentic Mexico City taco. I added a little bit of onions, cilantro, and hot sauce. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Ooh, tender, delicious. I like it. So for our bill here at Paramo, we had two margaritas, two tostados, and two cedero tacos for a total of $46. So we are heading off for some tacos, but I have to be honest, my travel here to Mexico uh, has been a little difficult. I have been under the weather. I don't know if it's the spices in the food, the altitude, or me just having a millennial stomach. <laughs> I just don't know. I have been trying to make the best of it. So uh, before we leave tomorrow night, I wanted to get some tacos in. So we're in Condesa. We are heading out to find some tacos because the tacos that I have had so far are amazing, but I want some more before I leave. So let's go. So we're stopping in at Tacaria El Greco. This is exactly what I was looking Whoa. for, a small, unassuming place that serves amazing tacos. Tacaria El Greco has been serving up tacos for over 45 years, so I trust they know exactly what they are doing. So as you can see, the El Pastor meat was just getting started for the day, so we opted for some chicken and beef tacos. The beef taco. Give it a try. Cilantro, it has the avocado, uh, onions, and a double tortilla. So for our bill here at El Greco, we had two beef tacos, two chicken tacos, and a couple of Cokes for just $8. There are so many wonderful things about Mexico City, but one thing that I absolutely love is you can eat and then walk a little. Eat and then walk a little. And that's what we're doing today. Now it's time for some fish tacos at El Pascadito. El Pascadito has been frying up fish tacos since 1997, and they've been very successful at it. They now have several locations throughout Mexico City. This fried fish taco is also known as Baja style. It usually involves deep fried white fleshed fish, shredded cabbage, and a creamy white sauce. Alright, so we got the fish and the shrimp tacos. And they have like a little salad bar here that you can just add the toppings that you want. The sauce, lots of sauces. Uh, it's so um, I added just a little bit of cabbage and some onions. And uh, I'm gonna take a bite of the shrimp taco. Oh, it's so hot because they've just made this. Like fresh and fried, it's a great flavor. I like the cabbage. 
cabbage on top. So for our bill here at El Pescadito, we had one shrimp taco, one fish taco, one cerveza, and one agua. And our bill was just $7.13. That concludes this week's video of our Mexico City taco tour. Obviously, there's many places you can go in Mexico City to indulge in tacos. These were just a few that I enjoyed and wanted to share. If you like travel, if you like food, I invite you to subscribe. Thanks for watching.